So probably one of the most overlooked aspects of working in a consultant versus customer relationship, and especially when dealing with penetration testing and security type scenarios, is the expectations of the customer. It's absolutely critical that we clearly define everything that we plan to do and make sure that we're really all on the same page. So basically, we want to make sure that we clearly define the goals and expectations through interviewing with the customer and establishing that level of communication so that we have a good understanding of what they're really looking for. We don't want to surprise the customer with things they didn't anticipate, and we definitely don't want to embarrass them by showing them lots of vulnerabilities or going above this person's head. We want to make sure that we clearly communicate how we're going to do everything, up to and including the conclusion presentation and all levels of communication. Probably one of the biggest mistakes that you can make as a consultant when doing penetration testing and ethical hacking is publishing the results or communicating the results with an external third party, especially when not authorized to do so. So it's very important that we closely guard the results and all information related to the relationship confidential. We also want to clearly establish ownership of the resultant data for that particular consult. In other words, if we go in and we find vulnerabilities with a certain product on that customer's network, any communication of those vulnerabilities usually will have to go through that company. There was a situation a while back where a coworker and I found a vulnerability that was previously undiscovered by the vendor of that software package. And there was a big legal issue there because morally we were torn between going directly to the vendor and telling them how we found the flaw, but we were concerned that that might break relationships and legal boundaries with the company that we were dealing with. So make sure that you clearly communicate your intentions early in the game about scenarios like that. Just about every customer you're going to deal with is going to expect and even require full disclosure on everything. And what we really mean by full disclosure is you need to go in there and be completely open, disclose everything that you find, even the smallest vulnerability, all the way up to potential fixes and things they can do to better their network. We never want to hide information from the customer. If we find something and a particular manager comes to you and begs you not to tell the security team, I'm sorry, you need to make sure you pay attention to your contract because most likely it's going to say that you are legally bound to fully disclose all information with that company and the person in that company that brought you on board. So really the overall result that we can get from discussing the expectations of our customers is that we need to communicate well with our customers. We need to make sure that we properly interview interested parties and people that are important in the security chain. We also need to pay special attention to the fine print and how the relationship between you and your customer will be handled. Make sure we know what the data is going to provide for the customer as well as who is going to be responsible for maintaining that data and owning that data.